What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. My name is Wyatt Glover, and today I'm going to be reacting to Stage Mistakes by Thomas Sanders. Now, I love Thomas Sanders' videos, and he makes me laugh. I watch his vines, I watch his shorts, and I really like his videos. This is one of Thomas Sanders' old videos that I'm going to react to today. And by the way, the original link is in the description. And make sure you guys subscribe to Thomas Sanders, and the link is also into the description. And let's begin. I have returned. What is up, you guys? How are you all doing today? Before we get started with okay. today's video, I'd like to give a quick shout out to my friends at State Farm because they are helping pay my bills this month so I can make more videos for you guys. Did you know car crashes are the number one cause of death amongst teens? State Farm has created their program, Celebrate My Drive, in order to emphasize the positives of safe driving and reinforce habits like remembering to drive two and two. This year, high schools across the nation will have the opportunity to share their creative safe driving tips for the chance to win one of 22 $100,000 grants. And one high school will win a free private concert from Echo Smith. Click the link below for details on how your high school can participate. And now that's all said and done, on with the video. So, you guys have heard the phrase, the show must go on. And being on the stage as much as I have, I have encountered many opportunities to say just that. Because things go wrong, and things have definitely gone wrong with me. And with so many of these hilarious accidents that have happened to me on the stage, I figured they make some pretty great stories to tell you guys. So, I have decided for this video to share three very quick but hilarious stories all true of things that have happened to me on the stage when things went wrong <laughs> story yeah. time number one the show was into the woods i was playing the baker and we were at the end of act one trying to get all of the ingredients into the chalice to give to the witch to make her a beautiful woman again well we couldn't find the chalice. It was nowhere to be seen. I guess it was previously placed under the stage, but it wasn't there. The witch was trying to find it. The audience was waiting. We were like, what is going on? And finally, because we had to ad-lib, I go, here, just use my cloth satchel. Everybody kind of blanks and, and goes, okay, we're going to go ahead and put everything into a bag. I'm dumping out everything that was in the satchel because there was other props in there. And then we're like putting ingredients in there milking the cow and yeah. she's like dumping this sandy satchel into her face to like drink the potion and everybody's <laughs> changing the lines but forgetting they're like put the ingredients into the the bag give me the, the the bag it was just a whole big mess and once act one closed we were just laughing up a storm because that actually happened story time number two <laughs> the show was white christmas and i was playing the lead character's best friend and we were about to perform the song dancing the song was literally called dancing and i'm about to tell you why that's so funny so before the song started somebody in the cafe scene decided let's go ahead and put some water into this cup and drink yeah. it for real on the okay. stage well their cup got bumped and the liquid went onto the stage it was a seemingly harmless amount of liquid but I'm up there now dancing to the song, dancing with my lady love, talking about how great it is to be dancing, and I break away from her, and I'm on my way off the stage, and suddenly, slip, poof, just fall right onto my butt in front of everybody, <laughs> and I have to go, but I'm trying to make it look like I meant to do this, and I'm just sliding my... I'm sliding myself off the stage really fast, like, yeah, I totally meant to do this. But I'm laughing about this whole situation, like, that happened, and then right behind me, I hear, boom, and apparently another guy on his way off also slipped. So now it's choreographed falling. It just looked like we were totally meant to do this. He gets up, he's super upset about the whole situation. I'm like, it's the same thing just happened to me. And we carried on with the rest of the dance, very careful, looking around for that water, made it through, super happy, and what we learned from that is, we're not going to be using actual water on the stage anymore, because that wasn't safe. How hilarious it must have been as an audience member to see two people just slipping off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> the show was Heather's. I was playing JD. Yes, this happened like a month ago. So there's a scene in the show where things get kind of hot and heavy with me and the lead girl. Long story short, I'm not wearing that many clothes. I've gotten the shirt off, but I have to get the pants off without making much of a scene, so I'm trying to kick them off while laying down, not really paying attention to what I'm doing. Now the scene carries on, she gets up, she's putting on her clothes, and I am getting up. I put my shirt on, look back, 
pants are gone. So I'm starting to freak out because her line's almost over and I'm about to begin and I'm supposed to already have my pants on. And I start to realize where they have gone. They have gone between the stairs of the set to the ground below. So we have to get them because we have to continue on with the scene. I can't leave the stage to get my pants. So I have to go in there while she's finishing up her line reaching for my pants the best I can and now she's finished with her line and she's looking back at me the entire audience is looking at me as I'm basically mooning the audience in my boxers trying to get my pants I think I got it almost got it I reach them I take them out I put them on as fast as I can and we continue on with the scene and I just try to forget the absolute ridiculous awkwardness that just ensued and just continue on with the show as if nothing was wrong I'm absolutely sure anybody that's been on the stage probably has stories like these and believe me you guys what I've learned from any of these accidents is that accidents happen sometimes things go wrong and it's not about doing everything right the first time it's about how fast you pick yourself up when you fall down sometimes you'll reach speed bumps sometimes you'll hit walls sometimes things will go wrong and it's how you adapt to the situation and move on that really counts and believe me this doesn't just apply to the stage it applies to real life it's been quite the learning experience and of course it can make for a very funny story down the way well i hope you guys enjoyed the video and now these embarrassing stories of me are out there to the general public so that's fantastic be sure to like and subscribe the video and i'm definitely coming out with some very interesting shenanigans very soon i hope you guys are gonna really enjoy it i'll be doing some videos of the leo and some other friends and it's gonna be a lot of fun thanks for watching fanders peace out all right guys i hope you like this video that was really awesome, and I really liked Thomas Sanders. Like, if Thomas Sanders was my teacher at Frontier Middle School, and he taught me that about his stage mistakes uh, uh, video, and he talked about it in real life to me at school, I'm like, oh, that's that's good learning. And I, I've, I've never had stage mistakes before. I don't know. So. Okay, so please give the video a like and comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell on the right whenever I post a video. And as always, I will see you tomorrow in the next video. Bye-bye.